you're going to find yourself in like a, you could you could be in a six zero hole. If we're talking in general, then yes. Yeah. If I were talking about this matchup specifically, one of the keys that we noted while Eternal Flyer was in the RMRs was their proficiency with second rounds. They were always true. extremely creative. They were able to pull off a lot of those rounds, whether it was CT or T side. They had great success in converting those. So we have to see if that continues today. And that's something. <gasps> oh, we are oh underway. Oh my God! Here we go. First round's already started. 15 seconds in. Squeaky door blown off. Kit for Madrid in contact towards Yard. Multiple members of the Mongols spreading to take some space. And maybe looking for a cross dry is 910 on this P250. All right, let's take a breath because with him across and Zatara's investigating, needs to be careful here. Do they acknowledge the drop? There's nobody down towards the lower deck from Eternal Fire, Alex. They can get past Kalix at ramp. They're into the lower site. 9-10 can control vent rotations. This is very good for the Mongols if they can get past Kalix. That's an if. And they aren't in a hurry. Blitz has got the bomb, worried about the lobby push. Kalix remains vigilant towards the ramp side. You can see this reinforced top side. This is the perfect play from the Mongols. But how many does Kalix take down? They're on his, woo, they're on his Has head. to let him go. Has yeah. to let him go. Concedes it. Ramp down. That's the rotation he cut off. He wouldn't have done that if he was aware he dropped Alex. And that's a problem. The fact that they've managed to get down there and fight for it has managed to level things out into a 4v4. Woxic through single door. Going for the plant. Covered by Mazzinho. Clean onto Icardia with Woxic. Oh! oh, tapping away on the P2K. He is an animal. And now unleashed upon his adversary. Blitz and Mazzinho. What have you got for us? That P2K. Six bullets left in the mag. I'm ticking, Woxic down. Nice work from Blitz. He's leveled it out. And Madra and Kalix, they've got nothing to work with. This would be some fantastic headshots. Otherwise, this is going the way of the Mongols. Just like that, Mazzinho makes it just Madja, and he is gone too. The Mongols will take that T-side pistol. And that's going to feel very good for Mazzinho to get on the board early. I used to play with some players back in the day who, if they, you know, they got kills on the pistol round, they were unleashed. It helps deal with the nerves. You're yeah. feeling comfy. You're like, yeah, I can hit these shots. There's a great start for the 16-year-old and a smile on the face of Techno. And that, for me, really comes across with 9-10 getting across towards secret undetected. Zentara is dropping down the vent, not aware that that rotation point, here it is again. And I'm saying Zentara's wouldn't drop like that if he had expected a player to be of across. Course. So that the fact that 910 is undetected is essentially not the round winner, but a huge win condition for Mongols in that one. You talked about those second rounds, Jack. You say Eternal Fire always have something. That's well, oh, that's a scout to an AK. Already, Woxic has... Uh... Oh! oh, lost his head, Senzu. That is ridiculous. Just using that Galil on the silo, and now a little bit of a window of opportunity. This is a crazy push This is a crazy timing. They've completely abandoned it. And he's aware. He's ahead of the curve. This is going to really catch Senzu off guard. Is he potentially ready? He would have to hit one hell of a flick and adjustment. Back now onto Kalix. Senzu doesn't adjust in time. Taris has been found. Magic oh. gets two. They didn't clear their corners. And now it's in it to a 2v2. Eternal Fire trying to convert. Second round force. Bomb down Astralis. Spam not going to connect too much. Taris, the unknown entity. Recovered a Galil. They're anticipating him from ramp. They know where they both are. Blitz. Oh, perfect. Actually catches Wakadia, punishes the overlook of the position, and they will weather the storm of a rather threatening second round. Yeah, it almost got out of control there. Magic getting two. I think as soon as Zenzu gets flanked towards Yard, they start trying to take that lower space quickly, expecting Zentaras as that Yard rifler to already be down towards the lower deck. But yeah. no, no, it's Magic, and he almost picked up round winning pair. Oh, you, when you see that, you'd, you'd assume that, that the conversion's coming and imminent, but this, this is a shot. <laughs> That is ridiculous, isn't it? That's so sick. And it bails them out because if the scout had an opportunity to reposition, he would have been heading back towards ramp, yeah. which is where they tried to leak through. So a great shot from Senzu. Some upgrades again from the likes of Eternal Fire. A few more MP9s, a couple of pesky pistols, and looking just to try and inflict a little bit more damage again. Winning the round, not as likely when it's not the full investment, but if they can get two kills, that's not too bad in leveling out the Mongols' money still. <laughs> Oh, that's one hell of a nade. Sours the mood for Madja. Taurus is MP9 audible. And Madja losing his head. Blitz, good awareness on that one. Takes down Yard. A little bit of room to stretch their legs now. Kalex responsible for this ramp. Mazzinho's in no hurry. Not going to try and make a solo play. More so just containing any of that potential CT aggression. Have to gamble now if you're Eternal Fire and try and take a fight together. And I think that's what they're opting to do. 
So Secret Main and Hell all to be mopped up here momentarily. Secret noted that there's another player over towards the Hell position. Oh, I think through the corner of the wall. I think too much to worry about for the Senzu Bean as... Oh, it's actually uh -oh. Wakadia. Uh-oh, Wakadia and Woxic piecing together the round. Centara spotted out. They know where they were. Do they know where they are? Great work and a little proactivity from Techno as he looks to try and fight Wakadia down on the low side. Oh, controls the spray, what takes down rotation. Techno. Yeah, he's already there ahead of seconds. the rotation. Now uncomfortable for the Mongols. Run down by Zantares. And this around where they had nothing. Coming save, into save, it, save. investing into those two MP9s and actually leaving with the round. That is crazy. It's actually Wakadia's rotation that is key because they knew there was a player Hell, they knew there was a player Secret and Main. So they thought if we just go down towards that B site quick smart, we should be able to lock them off. But Wakadia going straight down the vent after picking up the AK, make sure he constricts them from getting in towards that site control. And that's massive work right there from Wakadia. Two uh, huge kills. And the way they made them so uncomfortable in Yard. The, you know, you saw it with, from the Senzu POV where you're kind of, you're looking towards hell. The smoke on main is fading. You're already hearing one secret, so you know you're on a timer. This, this push here onto Senzu from Wakadia, yeah. then grabbing that AK and being here well ahead of expe the expectation. It's a beautifully converted and constructed round for Eternal Fire. Yeah, the ramifications that are huge considering the loss bonus. So only one saved AK. They have actually been able to upgrade into some pistols, some light util, 910 copying a nade, and actually a Galil for Senzu. So they have somewhat decent weaponry, all things considered, to work with. Waterwoods Yard, Techno, hard ah. to get cheeky but controlled by Wakadia. Again, impact. Yeah, and you talked about those early couple of rounds, getting those early kills for Wakadia and for Eternal Fire. That's going to feel really good. Just he's on the board. He's already had impact. They have done the smokes, and two of them getting down ahead of the flames. So Zantara's an audible descent into the vent and controls the first. Blitz down, getting run at. Zantara's, how does he handle this pressure? He's getting pushed and handles it well. Pleased to collect at least the double. Two versus four. With very little control, Kalix already rotation comfortable. Oh, a great flank as well. They've really just locked every option off. They're anticipating this. Oh, Bent they to top. Were, Yeah, but they think Wankadi's going to catch them with their pants around their ankles. Not ready for that was Senzu. 9 10 doesn't have a chance in hell. Wankadi is very aggressive, isn't he? That's an easy one for Madja. He's essentially just going wherever he wants and taking fights actively, which is a very good sign. Yeah, kind of Donk-esque. It, it, look, it can get out of control. You can overpeak. There can be problems with it. But right now, he seems like he's just backing himself individually, which is key for your stars. And he is one of them over at Eternal Fire alongside of Zantara's. But uh, likely now having to see the eco for Mongols. Oh, you, need, you, you could have kind of uh, given Zantara's the same kind of props for the way he just dumped, jumped into those vents. He, he knew that they'd hear him. He just took the fights regardless. And it felt like he was late to the party, didn't it? Yeah, it so, did. You know, and a lot of people rotate into that go, oh, they're already here. But, well, yeah, of course. They're called the secret yard smokes. But Zantara's just wanted to take those type of fights. So great work from him as Kalix. You see he's playing an anti-eco position, right? He's sitting back. He's not getting himself isolated. Sure, he's going to give up this territory, but there's already a rotation from his teammates lower, and that's not a bad nade either. <laughs> Skimming stones. It's a kill. Ooh. Could have, would have, probably should have. For Kalex. It was a kill yes. for Kalex. Kalex has got a nice yeah. kill there. That's what I was going with. Oh, man. It's crazy how the first two rounds went the way of the Mongols, but it was that, that third. Unable to find the conversion. We always say, you know, clean to, uh, two into three. But, uh, yeah, Eternal Fire, they've seized control early of this uh, first half. How the turntables? You could be a DJ, Chad. You could Not at all. We no. already have Maniac for that. That's true. We don't, we don't need anybody else to try their luck. DJ Maniac. If we're lucky, we'll get a performance here in Copenhagen. Light on Util for this gun round, Mongols. So one, one of the notes is the smokes. They only had three. Now make it just one remaining. What it limits you, their amount of openings. What do you call that aggressive smoke towards red from the CTs? Do you have a name for it? You know, uh, this glaive. It is glaive. Okay, just clarifying. Oh, wow. So, Senzu, he's anticipating this trophy. Hello? Wakadia? Okay, it was actually, a, it was the HUD. That got me confused. Well, he had an AK, so understandably no, did confused. did it not say? Okay. No, it did. It said Senzu. Okay. And then it changed to Wakadia. Okay. But, so, you're all right. I, was, I thought I was losing my mind. Because it's like, how did I play even slip yeah, past it precisely. there? It wouldn't have been possible. But this round's over. Uh, we're worrying about the HUD. We should be worrying about the kills. It's just Woxic. Last man standing, the lobby push. 
They've tried to react towards the yard smokes. Because what he was clearing is like, how, what, we, why would, you how, be... would he, how would a player have gotten there? Yeah, precisely. Yeah, wait, well, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 I thought I'd lost my marbles. Uh, but we do have Waxic saving his AWP. That round's over before it really gets going, even if it was a little confusing. And they took the fight to the Mongols. Nice. Yeah. They I mean, pushed Lobby and they got destroyed. Well, when you said, oh, you know, low util for Mongols, what's the, what's the perfect way out? Is just five headshots strategy. Yeah, exactly. So uh, Eternal Fire giving Mongols a way out. Yeah. Essentially, uh, but you said they were backing them. You were backing themselves, backing their aim. There, this is the other side of that coin. True, very true. You're not always going to win them. These are 50-50 jewels. Sure, you can tip this. Oh God, that's scary. Waxik, he's being hunted. Can he get away with his AWP? Yes, he can. It's Enzo and 910 throwing their bodies to try and remove that uh, pri priority, but it's uh, going to be held on. I don't know, can't believe his luck. Two quick ones and a smile on the face of 910 as well. So. With the AWP saved, consecutive rounds in a row, Eternal Fire will be able to justify another purchase. This is the kills from Nintendo, and under pressure, you can see him getting spammed as well from that top side, so very good work. I loved his restraint there, not actually reacting to the to the shots through the smoke there. It would have been giving up his position, just shot in the side of the head. Oh, that ladder bug is plaguing even the best of us. Yeah, a couple of little dramas. Again, ready for lobby aggression the Mongols. So setting up very lobby centric, you can see with the X-ray just how many players reside. And this is telling of either a top pop or at least the ability to make it look that way. Yeah, so that's a Molly from behind the site. Molly on top of her and a smoke main. So that's going to get your, your feckles up as a defender. It's also a good way to bait out that CT stop util. They're going to go smoke Molly defense their Ooh. own, a deep HE and well, it's double pump. They're coming in. They are. Flashes are in. Mad just spray though, despite the flashes, gets two. Blitz and Senzu equalize. Woxix dropped into the side, commits to the fight down. Now to 9-10. Two versus two. Blitz trying to work it and piece it together. Fight on main, traded by 9-10. Can he pick up the bomb? Can he get away? The answer is no. Kalix hiding out in the heavens to convert. You can see 9-10 worried about the lobby push yeah, as well, knowing Kalix is the ramp player. So where has he gotten off to? But Badger with a double flashed up. The in-game leader, the vet, beautiful work. Yeah, and it doesn't go that well if it's not for Madja. Uh, the fact that you had Woxic dropped into the site, the fact that Kalix was playing Heaven as well, you needed a double from your, your top side anchor. Now Madja delivers uh, under a lot of pressure. Well handled by him. And you can see 9-10, yeah, he was a bit of a kind of rock and a hard place there, worried about Lobby and Kalix just being ready for the collection. Well, back and forth we go. The economy for Mongols causing a few issues. Techno with the AK. Oh, and Senzu didn't quite stick the landing. We've dropped back to spawn. I think that means maybe, just maybe, we have a bit of a technical issue, everybody. Mm, okay. Some quicker match medic. So this is a uh, good opportunity to remind you all of the hashtag, hashtag PGL Major. Oh, yeah. You know, it's the, uh, the boss man's birthday around here today. Oh, he must, what is he now, like 30, 32? Silvio, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, like the, the major starts and it's your birthday and you're the boss. You'd yeah. hope things go well. Yeah, for, for his sake. Yeah. For, for his birthday present, he gets a nice first day of the major. Everything goes smoothly. Yeah. That's a good idea. Let's do that. So let's stop this pause if <laughs> Come we can on and get back underway. I yeah, can't be having any of that. Uh, and the room as well. You, you'll see it if you tune into the uh, the mainstream for the for the analyst desk. You get to see uh, that whole kind of tunnel of champions. There's going to be a lot of players um, coming through these doors over the course of these next few weeks. It can be very interested to see whether Eternal Fire and Mongols make it. Like, I think that's, I've got a lot of people have both of them in their, uh, in their expectations for the, the next stage. I would, I, look, the thing is, for the Mongols and the type of Counter-Strike they can play, it would be great to see them go into that next stage of competition because I think they can cause some issues to some of the, the more household names, which we touched on a little bit before, the teams waiting in the elimination stage, which was previously the Legend stage. And yep. right now we're in, what was previously the challenger stage, which back in my day was the major qualifier. There's been a lot of names and the majors. There's this is the 20th major, so it yeah. makes sense things have changed. Yeah, exactly. If it all stayed the same, what well, we didn't get a perfect out of the gate, guys, all right? We're still working on it. But yeah, first stage, or as others have been calling it, the former cha challengers. The former challengers. All right, well, uh, we're back in. We the definitely action. are back in the action. And it is the same buy, so I'm not sure what the issue was. AK, upgraded pistols. If you're going to invest like this on Techno, you need to get a couple of kills. I'm going to set two as a minimum. Mm. If you can get a plant, fantastic news. If you can win the round, it, it makes sense to, to, to set him up in yard, isn't it? Uh, the likelihood of it being 
potentially a head to head with the orp if we can get game sound back uh, uh, i'm sure we will be working on that could just be us could just be us moxic actually just delivering some util to return to his yard responsibilities but yeah, getting Techno set up with this AK-47, it's not going to be easy to get past Woxic. These, this, this is an AK versus an AWP head-to-head -head that's on its way. And, oh, actually, he's won that duel. He hasn't killed him, but he's showed the AK, forces the AWPer off the line, puts him down to just 17 points of health. Yeah, difficult repeat for Woxic now. Where is he going to reposition to? That's a big question. The secret play from Zantara is if he is feeling they are under threat and need some information, he can peer up. Uh, this is still a very strong setup for Eternal Fire. They haven't really bit down too hard. They're not extremely worried about Yard. The Orp's reposition back box on ramp. So Woxic is in a very good position to get one, and Kallax will mop up. Yeah, as he has done, connects, and Kallax gets himself two. Down they go, down they fall, tumbling piece by piece. Woxic, he will end up finding three frags despite taking a bullet to the face. Long range, lives to tell the tale. All right, well, timeout call. This is Mara's opportunity to get on the microphone. First timeout so far on map number, well, it is map. series number one, yeah. I suppose. Match number one. And a lot of exciting matches up today. I'm very intrigued to see what kind of form uh, the, the names we have in the server today on our stream, what kind of form they show up in. I'm intrigued to Which know Which one what. are you the most excited about after this one? Uh, probably, uh, probably heroic, I want to see. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm a bit of a heroic stan. I like the idea that they they kind of from an organization perspective or heroic fan perspective, they just thought it was GG. And then through no exceeding expectations, they're exceeding for expectations sure. yeah. kicks and kind of trying to build build on his uh, his legacy. I'm excited for Saul versus Koi, the Iberian Ooh. matchup. Yeah. Lots of history there. And I think they're probably glad they play each other in the opening game as opposed to like, like a 2 2 match and one of them gets heartbroken. At least this one, one of them gets to start the uh, opening stage with a victory. All right. Well, Mm. Tactical taken. Yeah, the ramp player is going for an org as well. I'm going to be intrigued to see if that comes into the play. Alex opting for that. Lurk smoke drops, so already uncertainty brews. They're not in a rush again to try and take this outside space, Mongols. They're not doing the smoke wall and immediately crossing. The smoke wall is up. So this is a bit of a fake. HE goes through, no vision for Woxic, but they will be over towards main for Zantares. Orb still posted deep, so if you're just on a dry swing, you have a lot to worry about. Woxic's been hitting some great shots so far. Yeah, you've got to fear Woxic with his uh, signature weapon. It's a hard shot. They crouch under the angle. Walks out the shot. Concerned about the potential for a rival Orper on the silo. Positions to this tight line on the Red Cross. Oh, just on zoom. Still manages to take down Azinho. They're going in rather dry here, and it's Wicardia and Woxic just having a field day. Oh, he's got away. Blitz didn't see him. Let's oh. oh no! A messy one there from the Mongols. Foxy County's lucky stars. Just yeah. undetected the reposition, the aggressive maneuver. Oh, things are starting to look a little bit. I don't want to say scary for the Mongols. This is T side. If they can get themselves four rounds on the T side, they should be quite happy with that. But drawing a blank in their approach in the last few. I think one of the keys that maybe is, has made them feel a bit emboldened with these secret smokes is the pistol round, 9-10 getting down for free. So they know that if they can get across, they can either do it without Eternal Fire responding or force a rotation. So one or the other, and that's what you hope to do on Newt. We talk about this map, it is one of the more strategic of the bunch. The way that you can pressure these CT rotations, you don't want to allow the nucleus of the top hold to exist. You want to put a lot of pressure across the map so that they have to deal with all of these gaps. Different smoke wall this time round, not the old school Stand a wall to get across secret and Senzu right on the toes, chunk down. This is a top pop. He's giving it a go, charging through and melted. Got out ramp at least. Yeah, that's something for Mazinho to work with. I have two people able. Uh, nice, good awareness there from Calix. Mazinho does not get the frag. So his position is now noted, and its potency is lost. And same as Senzu's, because yeah. he's crossed a warehouse. So the fact that they were both going for hell pressure, they completely negated the bomb down lobby. The fight's coming. 9-10's dead. And the round. Should we call it seven? Yeah, I think we certainly should. You, you said four, and it's still within the realms of possibility. But the Mongols unable to get too much going in these last few. 
And I, I, Eternal Fire's nuke as well is, is, a, is a map that uh, they've taken big names to, to overtimes on. I'm still thinking about, I think it was FaZe. They had a very close affair and just have, it's like they've missed that final step. They haven't been yes. able to convert these very close games against some of the best in the world but they've got very, very damn close. I think one of the different framings for Eternal Fire in this stage of the competition is they're a favorite against a majority of the opponents they'll be going up against. Yeah. So uh, how does that change the way they approach the game? Right? Is it worse for them? Is it better for them? Well, we're kind of finding out right now live on the screen because they are favorites against the Mongols. Here. Even both of them have a similar narrative around them of being dangerous against some of these upper echelon teams. But this is a great showing from Eternal Fire so far. This is with the pistol loss, so they've recovered definitely. And that third round win, we can't call it a force by victory, no. but it definitely a lighter investment victory. And that's what they've been known for throughout their ascension this year. See that CT protocol, spamming smokes. Oh, one HP on Techno. Oh. Yeah, again, I mean, first it's nades, then it's spam Techno. He's barely hanging on. And they're going to drop some smoke to try and get across Yard, but this is with intent. Fast on the first, the tail will follow, and also noisily. Well, wasn't far off there on his internal timings. Did he get the bomb over, though? Be able to contribute any further. Wicardia has rotated down. He's actually going forward for this fight. This could catch them off guard, not on Mazzino's watch. The big frag that will force further rotations. Finances are fine for Eternal Fire here. So if they lose the site with the number disadvantage, they should go for this retake. They've got plenty of cash to buy in the last round of the half. I just call the lobby clear. Kalix has managed to get himself into dark. He can molly this. And that would be advisable. 30 seconds to try and get this bomb down. 9, 10 down towards single. Got support of Blitz. Sensu's actually still heading towards heaven, so that's interesting. Do they go vent to top? They're considering they it. They are. Interesting, interesting. Sensu, if he can find this one. Player, this is big! Zantaris holds on. He knows what's up now. They got the bomb. They've got to hurry up. They're going down lower again. 12 seconds. Kalix is on dark. 9, Indecision. 10. What are you doing, lads? Where are we going? Oh, no. He's punching in the code. He should be able to get it down. Extend play, but it's uncomfortable now. A four versus three. Barely three. Techno, that one HP. See how they can make this work. Blitz and 9-10. If Techno can get one from this CT vent. position. I mean, especially because it's going to be cleared. Oh, audible. They're going for the, the wrap. Blitz flashed. Getting pushed, getting cleared. Madge is going to collect, and it's only 9-10. He's down two. Eternal fire. We'll make it an eighth. Damn, it was looking so good for Mongols. It just felt if they were hitting towards that lower side, at least they had the bodies there. Senzu with the flank around heaven, I think it just complicated matters. Yeah. And the fact that he loses that fight as well, which you think is a bit of a gimme, is Zantara is more than aware of the possibility. That's a massive duel for him to win. And then it just throws indecision in towards the ranks of the Mongols, and they look sloppy as hell. This is Mazzino, a great opener, but the Zantara's frag is the round changer. Completely flashed up his blitz. Techno even gets a kill on the one HP, but it is not enough. And Mongols, can you go into the halftime with the fourth round to your name? Well, let's find out. You've got the AKs through. The loss bonus is there. The plant definitely helping. But Eternal Fire running away with things at the moment. Oh, that's going to be living in their head. Absolutely rent free. Bit of a capitulation there as Wicardia. He's actually going to silently drop the vents. You're on the pulse of the potential. Smokes are up. Boxic. Trying to clear them. Nate does chip away at their health, but they are across. Oof. Thinks better of it that time. Doesn't take the heads up jewel. Delays is Hatcher again with impact. Techno failed. Big big. So limited off. What on oh, earth <laughs> is he doing? Zantaras <laughs> pushes Wicardia's smoke to get some info and a headshot. Oh, wow. Senzu's down to Wogsik as well, ready for that one. Seems like Eternal Fire. They're just switched on. I mean, from the get-go. And it, it wouldn't be fair to say Mongols haven't had opportunities to convert. Yeah. The third round definitely should have been theirs. It could have changed the complete flow for the game because then think about the economic turmoil that they were thrust into after losing that. Their buy next was Tech Nines with two rifles. And since they've just been scampering, oh, trying to put this one God. together, a classy finish. A 9-3 to three on the nose as, uh, well, we'll just take a moment and we get into the second half.
16. 16 and 4. One hell of a KD for Wok. And he started strong. Yep. That Great P2K. kills on the, the, the He had impact. It was Wakadia who was the hero because of the kill, pick up the AK, drop down the vent. But Woxic also had like a spin on the dime, 180 degree deagle shot when the flank through hell was that's happening. Right, yeah. So he's had his impact. And that's this very good so sign. Good. Because when I talk about Eternal Fire, I talk about Wakadia and Zantares. And traditionally, you talk about the two strong riflers and the Orpa. Yeah. And it's not that I don't rate Woxic, it's just that Woxic has never been the same player he was under the tutelage of Carrigan. He has never been that player, but Woxic was always a land player. When Henry picked him up on Cloud9 and was online, you're not invested in that. This guy's playing land events. He's getting it done in the front of the crowd. We know Oscar. He likes, uh, you know, he likes to get fired up. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, we always talk about how you have to have like kind of a degree of ego, a healthy amount of ego in order to be a, a star player. And I think Woxic has that uh, in, in buckets and spades. And at this point, he's just, the 16 doesn't surprise him. He's like, this is what it's supposed to be like every time. Nine to three as we head into the second pistol. Let's see if the Mongols can at least hold on to a, a fourth round. Taking both pistols would be a good start of a competitive nuke. Almost feels compulsory because it feels like the momentum will continue to run away away from them yeah. and again you would be left in a financial discrepancy to try and claw back into the game yeah you want to talk about mr12 and the, and the implications and changes i think this could be a great example if you win both pistols but you can't find its conversions Zinho's already lost ram a big nade to the face he's in trouble and, and i discussed right uh, with the map nuke if you're going to pick this against mongols and you know that mazinho has had issues in stressful games before he's a player that you can bully yeah, well, bullied on the pistol. They've lost ramp info. Blitz will activate yard. Techno establishing a crossfire top with 9-10. They're coming for you. Techno needs to be cool on this. Can't collect a thing. And Clean. it's just an absolutely perfect pistol. With five alive, Centaurus is going to be overlooking this. Makes his first of a one versus five on the pistol. Wopsic doesn't allow Did anymore. Burst? It sounded like it. 17th frag is found. And yeah, this already seems like the... Uh, the Mongols may be slipping away from a, a chance at a competitive nuke here. I don't know a better way to put it, but saying like the, the ramifications are amplified of, yeah. of mistakes or losing to these, these type of lower rounds. And when you think about the flow, if we just go back to the first half, third round, two upgraded MP9s and a couple of upgraded pistols, you lose that. Your next is a saved AK, Galil, and three Tech 9s. You lose that, your next is an Eco. Okay, well, now the score's three to two in their favor. Yeah. Then you have a gun round. Then you have to have another light buy, right? Like, you can see how the game's gotten away from them. Let's see if the Mongols got anything to say about this one. Zantaras doesn't seem to think so. 9-10 down immediately. The round has barely begun and already working at a disadvantage. Blitz, what have you got for us? He's up close, ready for the secret fight. Great headshot. He builds two out of it. Okay, hang on. There is a conversation to be had. By clearing out secret, teammates aware that the lobby likely mostly occupied Techno's got a lot of responsibility right now. He's worried about Squeak, Main, Hut. He's got Mazzino now to at least cover his Hut. So that means that Ramp is the gap. It's hard for them to... Well, it's a good... Uh, and a well-timed smoke. So at least that's bought them a buffer. Something yeah. you see a lot uh, on these rounds is rifles walk out squeaky, turn it into a bit of an aim map. So at least he's kept Eternal Fire at bay for now. A reposition from Techno to try and be more threatening. As Madger actually wants to start to investigate towards Yard, but I hope the clock doesn't get away from him. So he has the only smoke. They go, I think they might try and top split through main. So at least they're eliminating a few options. Right. The AK on Blitz down towards lower. He won't be able to have any impact if it is the top hit. Well, that was the chance. Oh, yeah. That's been look, Mazzinia has rotated away as, as well. They're expecting a reaction off of the smoke. They didn't get the reaction. The tunnel fire sat. They waited and still went with their initial plan, which was to explode out squeaky door. Can give it a go? Maybe he just wants to go shopping for a potential upgrade. Take it into the next. You're running out of rounds here. Eleven seeming to be guaranteed at this point. No, they are like giving it a go. Flash him in. Yeah. Flash through. Alex blind. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Uh. Oh, let's see. Not getting away with the AK either. Eternal fire. They're looking focused as they look to start as they mean to go on. Wow, you, you think about that. It's just to facilitate the ability to see if Mazzino can either do more damage or get another gun. And instead, it results in him getting killed while completely blind and then giving up the position of Blitz because they knew where the flash came from. Yeah, no, I mean, it's... <laughs>
It's, I mean, pick your poison. They all tell the story. Point. Yeah, they do. Absolutely blown out in Eternal Fire's favor. The Mongols struggling upon arrival here in Copenhagen. Famas, MP9, Desert Eagle, and a couple of different smoke grenades and flashbangs to try and have something to say about this new game. Missing a third smoke as part of this, but they're across regardless. And you're not awfully threatened in Yard, are you? What do you, you don't have to worry about an AWP. At, at most, maybe there was a scout. We can see that's not the case whatsoever. Zinio getting a little bit frisky towards ramp, has some space to work with, blitz in the vent. If they try and go for a time-delayed lobby crunch, might be able to isolate Kalik, sure, but they're hearing a bit of a ruckus towards the lower deck. Blitz, they know where you are. Oh, they're coming, nice work from Blitz, and Taras will trade. What do you do now? This is where you would expect the ramp play if you were Mongols, because you know they've got a player down who can control the vent rotation. That's starting to take shape. Yeah, audible. 35 seconds, eternal fire. Do we need to find a way into the site now? Hoping for a reaction, an overreaction from the Mongols, but they're kind of digging they're calling their heels the bluff. in. Yeah, they are. There's a secret flank available. 18 seconds, no one's there to respond. So this uh, call of the bluff has is, is not worked out for them. Out of position, outgunned, out utilityed. Not played. It looks hopeless, doesn't it? It really does. You can see they're, they have no idea. And now a smoke has just landed in front of their oh. face. A nade right on the <laughs> nose of Sensu. Oh, and a spray on top. They are having absolutely no fun. Zantares pulls Eternal Fire into their 12th. This is a dominant start to the Copenhagen Major for Eternal Fire. Whew. All right. Well, uh, look, this one, I haven't said it throughout, <laughs> but this one's looking done, uh, I would say. <laughs> A bit like a dog's dinner, but one of the scenarios that uh, we need to discuss is in the best of ones, you will have to wait until the middle point of the day. So after all best of ones are completed on both A and B streams, once they've come to their logical conclusions, uh, there will be the second round draw. And then the next, I think it's about 45 minutes, then the next right. matches will, will kick off from the finish of the final game on uh, whichever stream. So we're not... Uh, not on set start times. We're on a rolling schedule today with the best of one. So the quick as they go, and this one has been as quick as you like. Hello. A little bit of chip damage done, but Wakadi has gotten across. Is this really going to be that 13 to 3 scoreline? Or will the Mongols be able to uh, manufacture a bit of a cosmetic comeback? It seems they didn't quite show up today. Certainly not in the same capacity as their opponent. Tantara is dead to the spam. Good awareness from Blitz. Catches him. With his vision obscured. Another one to Calyx as well, okay. so that's something. Okay. okay, wow, Blitz has just decided he's gonna go shopping for frags and he might even have another one. Okay, Blitz, four. Now, surely the ace can be given his way. Madge is gonna oblige by heading towards the silo. Noisily as well. There's a world where Blitz can have finish this oh, off at 910. How dare on. you? That How very day. Now, I don't know what's happened on the mainstream, but I would have said that it's probably the first ace of the tournament. Now, uh, that can't be the case. Damn it. So, we can't, we can't have that whole little fun story there, Good to we? see, though. I mean, you need, you need Blitz online if you want to be um, competitive here in Copenhagen. So, he only needs to do that eight more times. Eight more, yeah. Just eight it. more times. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is how the uh, story of the comeback started. The Mongols down 12 to 3 on Nuke, the opening best of one here at the first CS2 major for PGL in Copenhagen, the year 2024. And Blitz inspired his team with a massive 4K when the chips were down. That's how the story goes. And the rest was history. This is going to be brutal. Look at this lineup. Through the, he's going to flash his Mackies straight through the squeaky door, through the smoke. Zenzu's there. 
Technos blind. And nice control of the spray. Takes down Woxic on main. An indication of where they're going. They're trying to go through, but the spam is there. Locked down. No one making it down. And yeah, back to the drawing board. Back to square one for Eternal Fire and back to spawn. Not as entire as in Magia. Have a go. Yeah, well, Mazzinho aware that he has given up a lot of territory over towards ramp. You can see him acknowledging the opportunity. And he does tuck across tight into that right-hand corner. The left for Zantaras. Should be... Oh, he's actually playing around the box. and captures Zantaras as easy as you like. I think he must have seen a barrel there as he's mantled up. And Blitz is looking invigorated. Yeah, it's a good I start. Finding uh, some aggression. So Madger about to get shot in the back. His timing working wonderfully for Bit Blitz right now. So this one's mine. What are you, you going to go for the knife? I think he wants the knife, Alex. I think he actually wants the knife. I'm, I am flabbergasted. Blitz. Blitz! Jeez. Stab him, Madger, with a left click. Go, okay. Mara doesn't smile. Blitz doesn't smile. Nobody smiles. <laughs> Short guys. Mazzinho smiles. <laughs> oh, of course he does. A little cherub. I mean, yeah, I get it. I get it. But it's um, it's a it's a sign of the time. Blitz, he really wants to try and get into the, the heads of their opponent. Some psychological warfare there, going for a knife kill to finish. I am curious, though, now, it's not that we'll get to see a game plan necessarily manifest, but I want to see if ramp is the weakness that Eternal Fire yeah. try and exploit. Because Mazzinho touched on it. Worried about him in this major in general because it's a high pressure environment and he's a kid uh but also he plays a position that's susceptible uh, to getting just exploited you also have to worry about the rotations he started strong he had two kills on the pistol round that i thought was a good omen but only has six to his name right now but when you look across the board it's not like he's lacking seven for nine ten seven for senzu six for techno it's blitz who's the only one to crack double digits 16 kills right now trying to go toe to toe with woxic on the other side the man on your screen 18 kills for him has support of the likes of Zantaris with 15, Kallax with 14, but right now we just have a few Deagles and some Glocks and well, a minute and 55 seconds to watch this transpire. You can already see good economy of utility coming out from Mongols. They haven't just been rifling through all their smokes, haven't felt th too threatened just yet. And that's one of the things on these type of rounds that if you are Eternal Fire, you're aiming to do, right? It is five AKs for the Ts. Uh, sorry, the CTs. Yeah. Yeah, th no wonder that's somewhat... <laughs> it's worth mentioning. Yes. Uh, five AKs for the T's would be... Just in case you're tuning Ooh, in, nice. uh, you, you, you can't get that at, unless you steal them from your opponent. But that's what Vince and Jackie should be telling you on the P... Is it PG underscore newbie? I actually don't know the URL, but uh, yeah, there is a, a, a uh, big newbie stream. For newer viewers. This is taking them down cleanly towards this yard position. I say that as Centaurus has hit a banger. Not going to be allowed to do too much more. Senzu closes it up. And Mongols will close the gap. Has to be perfect all the way through if they want to see overtime, if they want to see the opportunity for the slate to be wiped clean. I think one of the keys as well, and, and this is... Uh, look, in the context of the match, this doesn't matter, but in the context of the day, if Mongols can get a few more rounds under their belt, knowing they're going to be playing later in the day as well, just get some more rounds in, some more reps in. Uh, you will have to get back in the server and play in another best of one before the day is closed. And you definitely don't want to be going to bed tonight with 0-2 on your mind. Gosh, no. No, I mean, that, that is your worst case scenario. Will be a reality for some. They're fake Molly. Fake hot Molly. And pushing in aggression from Senzu. He's going to be punished by Woxic. But taking down Wakadia. It's a big scout to remove from the play. Yeah, Madger immediately ready for more aggression. They were lining up stack nades and not sure if that's a consideration anymore after the aggression. So now, juggling the utility so the magic can throw multiple Molotovs towards this top site. Interesting smoke thrown out there. You see, it's like almost like a lurk smoke for Hut. He's a lot of talking from Magic. This is probably not the round he was expecting to call, but after the death of Senzu and the trade, Cardio in the grave, they do need to mix things up. So it does seem like top is the, is the final... Somewhat weak as well. ...goal. It is a weak defense. Yeah, Mazzino is really going to be tested here. Can he win the head-to-head -head with Zantares? Oh, the flashes from Madja, so strong. Rotation. Heaven has to be big from 9-10. This is horrible. High-pressure environment for 9-10. He has to fight. Has to do whatever he can. A great shot, but overlooks. Kalix, the Flames force. A one versus two. Pushing through. Blitz, can you save them? 
as we elevated position. From the Molotov, this could be the play. This could very well be the play. Hoping Woxic extends, overextends the elevated position. Woxic will close and Eternal Fire will take the win. Oh, what a well put together round there from Eternal Fire under pressure. Magic calls them into victory. They hit the top site. A couple of easy kills come their way. And that is going to be map number one of their campaign here in the opening stage. This is the thing I said, you don't want to go to bed tonight with a 0-2 in your mind, but you'd love to go to bed tonight.